Well, Chopper 11 is showing us the devastation that that community woke up to, and as you can see, it is extensive. It is hard to see. Let's go to the ground with Andrea Lucia. She's been there today, telling us and learn and telling us what she's learned uh, about what fueled that fire yesterday. Andrea, we've we've uncovered a lot here. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, you can see some of the brush here behind me that survived this fire. The city says it had been asking the property owner out here for months to cut what had been tall grass in this field. By the time a long crew got to work yesterday, the fire marshal says there was just so much of it. It helped fuel this fire. And hidden in that grass was just a whole lot of debris. I'm talking about beer cans, uh, a broken toilet. Here's a, a road marker I just picked up off the ground, any of which could have helped spark the fire. The fire marshal, Sean Davis, said one of the mowers working out in the field reported hitting something just before this, seeing this fire start around 3.15 yesterday. They called 911, but the flames spread quickly. Grass fires out here generally aren't a big problem, but Davis told me the dry and windy conditions made this one especially difficult. The hot air being blown in firefighters' faces was so intense it was hard to even breathe. Davis also said the city has a fairly small fire department with only about eight firefighters on duty at any given time. And while the city has grown considerably in almost two decades, he told me its fire department hasn't. And not having enough manpower um, kind of makes it difficult. We, uh, us only having one brush truck um, and, and that having to every time it would stop to refill, then whatever they had extinguished is kind of picking back up and building momentum again. So it was kind of just a, a, you know, you just could never get ahead of it. Just one more brush truck and with a few more people, you think you might have been able to keep this to the, the grass? Possibly, yes. I, I think we would have had a lot better chance. Yeah, next week, the fire department will be asking the city to hire more firefighters and to add more trucks to its fleet. It does have an agreement with neighboring cities that it used yesterday to call in resources from there. But as quickly as this fire was spreading, by the time uh, those additional resources got here, the fire had already reached the homes. Yeah, that's Nicole? the issue. Yeah, Andrea, that's the issue, right, with these conditions is that the fire is spreading so quickly. I want to stick with the fire resources here because we heard that the the city came really close yesterday to having even fewer trucks than what they had to work with. Yeah, absolutely, Nicole. There was a ladder truck that we understand played a pretty significant role uh, in the neighborhood, keeping the flames from reaching even more homes. I found out from the fire marshal that ladder truck was out for three to four weeks for repairs. It only got back in service on Friday, days before this fire. And he told me if it had still been out of service uh, when the fire started, it could have been a whole lot worse for folks out here. Thank goodness it was here. Yeah, we are so thankful it wasn't any worse and no one was hurt. Andrea, thank you so much.